it's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pass the Flight, Shoe Flight, Flex Luger. Call me what you want, but can't play the boy broke. They should be rich and man. Back with another video as usual. If you have already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Say we rock with the flight crew. You don't have fun. Before we get started, I want to send a message out. I told y'all I'm coming for the early review crown. So make sure you follow me on IG, Flight Academy, underscore kicks with a Z. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, aka Pastor Flight, Show Flight, Ghost Candyman, all the great names. Call me what you want, K-Cray Boy, bro, because I'm rich in Christ, man. Back with another video for y'all today, man. And listen, bro, if you have not already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button right now, man. Make sure you sub up to the channel right now for this nonstop content and this real authentic content that we're going to keep dropping this year. We ain't stopping. And, you know, I'll be going crazy with the early reviews, man. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And as well as if you have not already, follow me on IG, Flight Academy underscore Kicks with a Z. You can follow all my store pages in my bio. Just click the links, follow them, and that's that, man. But listen, right? So, there was a major event this weekend in New York, man. God Souls, man. Just one thing, man. Shout out to God Souls. They, they pretty much came, I want to say pretty much like after COVID, man. And they just been really running it up for these sneaker events, man. Now, you know, we, we've been to several different, well, I say we, I've, I've been talking about, like just the, the crew, man, when we traveling. But I've been to several sneaker events, man. You know, the God Souls. The uh, no, I'm sorry, I haven't been to a got so yet, but I've been like the sneaker cons and the different other events, man. Um, but got so seems to be growing, they seem to be growing and, and doing their thing, bro. Um, so you know, it is what it is. Shout out to them. But this weekend, they had a major event. Um, and as we've seen in the past, they've had celebrities come through, bro. I think at the last one, they had the baby come through, they had PJ Tucker at an event. Um, they had just a bunch of celebrities, man. They paid good money for these celebrities to come out, man. But this past weekend, they had a special guest, bro. You know what I'm saying? None other than Meek Mill, bro. Now, listen. Meek Mill is the homie, bro. Like, I rock with Meek Mill music. Always have, even back to, like, the battle rock days when we were just rapping on the corner with the Braves, bro, back when we was watching the Smack DVDs before y'all was even into none of that. Before he got popular and signed with MMG, we already knew who Meek Mill was, man. But he was at the sneaker event this weekend, all right? And, of course, he went to a few tables looking to cash out on some pairs. Now, two things I cannot confirm or deny, but a lot of times when those celebrities come to those events, sometimes in their riders or what they request, they ask for money to be able to purchase shoes, right? So they want to be able to do cash out. Now, how that works for the venue person or the promoter is we get promo video of you cashing out at tables that at that point would then make other people want to come to our events because they are expecting, okay, if I come to the event, a celebrity may buy from me and may cash out on my table. We've seen multiple videos of different cash out. Some people come to the events, cashing out tables, 80,000, 70,000. I mean, to, to be honest with you, the one of the ones that really started off with it was 2Js. And it could have been other people before then, but you know, 2Js is known for coming to the sneaker events, cashing out, coming with no shoes, leaving with thousands of shoes, right? But it got souls. Um, some of the celebrities have been cashing out. And so I, I can't say whether that was just part of his rider to be able to be able to cash out and they gave him the money or it could have been his money. But that's not really what we're talking about right now, man. The issue or the topic that's been going on today was in one particular footage or promo clip, there's a video of Meek Mill. He's actually uh, trying to purchase some SB4s. Now, we know SB4s are up there in price, okay? They're not nowhere near retail, okay? Now, if you see from the video, the guy offered Meek Mill $500 for the SB4s. Now, granted, I I bought SB4s from $330 to $500, to $550. Like, I, I done paid different amounts depending on the size, where you at, and the desperation of needing an actual shoe. So I can't say what somebody prices, whether it's good or bad. I've always said this, and I always will stick to this, man. People price are they price. You know what I'm saying? You can ask what the price is. That's their price. You get the price and keep it moving. But you can't really tell somebody what they should or shouldn't charge on a shoe that they invest in there. Now, granted, some people do be taxed, okay? Some people do be taxed. But it is what it is, man. It's your shoe. You charge what you want. But Meek Mill pretty much told the guy, look, I'm going to give you 300 like I'm trying to teach, pretty much saying I'm trying to teach you how to be a hustler. I'm gonna teach you how to how to do this, man. Like he pretty much saying you hustling backwards or you're not doing this right way. I'm Meek Mill, so you're supposed to give me the price of 300 for the shoe, right? And he's saying pretty much you get a, you get a feature on the promo commercial, whatever Got Souls was doing. He pretty much saying you get to be on there. Now, one thing I do commend the guy, he stuck to his prices and still got the promo, right? So he didn't lose at all, right? 
And in a sense, Meek Mill didn't lose it all neither because it wasn't like Meek Mill promoted it on his page. Okay? It was more of a promo for gossip. Now, here's the question. Now, y'all know I sell to a ton of celebrities. I deal with them all the time. If you don't believe, go look at my page. You can see the different ones that follow me. You can see the ones I took pictures with. You can see the ones that shot me out. I deal with all types of celebrities, man. And when it comes to that, one thing people always say, well, do you tax the overtax the celebrities? No, I don't, bro. I just charge my price. My price is my price, man. And if that had been me in that situation, um, I might not have did five, but I would have told me, look, bro, I give you 400, bro. Because me did make a comment and said, oh, I can just get these in the store right now for 300. Now, we all know, and me may not know, I mean, he may rock shoes, but he may not be fully aware of the sneaker market or just how things are. None of them shoes are sitting in no store for 300. They definitely ain't sitting in no resale store. They ain't sitting in no store nowhere. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even come out in stores like that. But, you know, that's just him talking his talk, bro. He from the streets. That's just, that's hustle talk. You know what I'm saying? I do not think the guy is wrong for sticking to his 500. That is the price he want. And I think for me, if Meek was like, I'll shout you out, of course, I would have given. I mean, to keep it above with you, I would have gave Meek the shoe for free for a shout out because of the potential that you can get people to follow your page from a celebrity shout out. Y'all. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Now, I've been dealing with celebrities for about six, seven years, bro, right? Sometimes when they shout you out, you get a lot of followers. Sometimes you don't get no followers. You may get like a few of them. But it's not as much as people try to overhype sometimes, man. I've, I've had celebrities who've only had 300,000 followers shout me out on their page, and I gained like 7,000 followers. I've had celebrities who had 10 million followers shout me on their page, and I only gained like 100 to 200 followers. It's not always guaranteed that you're going to get promo or whatever the case would be. Even when they tell you, oh, we're going to come back and shop again. Man, if you don't got like a personal, personal relationship, Bro, you ain't going to see them again. You got to think about it. Some of these celebrities travel all over the world. There's so many resellers everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They gonna, if they don't cop the shoe for you, they're going to cop it for somebody else. Or one of their homeboys is going to throw it to them. Some of them may even know DJ Khaled. He may just plug them in somewhere or somebody who's with Jordan Brand. It's always going to be that. I think me not wrong for wanting to try to just spend 300 use his fame. He's not wrong for that. He worked hard for his brand too. So he's like, hey. Listen, I'm meek. You know what I'm saying? This the price you should be given. But also, Buddy's not wrong for sticking to his 500, bro. Not wrong at all, man. Me, personally, I probably would have met him at like 400, 350. You know what I'm saying? Get a flick with him. Because I actually listened to him. So, you know, I would have got a flick with him, posted a picture. But I don't think nobody's really wrong in it. I just think sometimes y'all have false expectations of what's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? Don't just think, oh, that's him. You're supposed to give him the money. Hey, man, this is how I see it, bro. Can somebody come to you if we came to meet and ask him for a feature? Would he would be willing to drop his price like that? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? He know his worth. He know what happens if he get on the track with you and, and it could take off. So same way with your business, bro. You got to operate your business where people respect it, man. You know what I'm saying? Tell people, man, my price is my price. You keep it that way. That's why y'all see I don't fluctuate between people and stuff like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I operate how I operate. Keep it moving, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that he's wrong for trying to hustle and, and, and save the X200. I don't even think that was his money. I really think they they got souls probably gave him the bread to spend in the show. You know what I'm saying? But it could have been his his bread too. But he did mention like, yo, I'm going to look out. I can look out for you. I'll buy a lot of shoes. I'll come back and buy shoes. We can't go be talking to all the people, bro. That's one event. You know how many tables he bought from? And keep in mind, y'all, I got mad love for me. But if you look at all the other videos, he said the same thing to other people too, bro. Like, that wasn't just that dude, bro. Everybody got fed the same line, bro. So it's like, it's a hustler's game, bro. Listen, man, listen. We never hustle out of desperation over here, bro. So commend the dude, man, for, you know, sticking his guns. He got the 500 and still got the promo, man. So it was a, it was a win-win for him. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Listen, when you got your price, stick to it. And that's just that, man. But I don't think Meek is wrong. I don't think Buddy's wrong for sticking to his price. You know, could he have lost the sale? Yeah, he probably could, you know what I'm saying? But you can see it didn't take me long to move on from saying, all right, well, I I, I don't want to pay it. I'm going to just go to the next person. He's like, all right, I'll pay it, but you missed out. Technically, the guy didn't miss out because he got his $500. That's just that, man, man. But you know what? That's just that's just me talking, man. You know? It is what it is. Everybody got their own opinions, bro. But until next time, man, you're not rocking, man. Listen, I got a pour of meat tonight, so I got to get some sleep real quick. But... I appreciate y'all so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, man, take flight with the flies. You ain't flying. We just ain't flying right. Hustle, motivate, man. Long live nip, man. We out.
Thank you.